friends! Welcome back to our channel if you've seen our videos before. If you're new, welcome in. My name is Hope and today I have for you guys another Disney Vera Bradley collaboration video. I enjoy doing these videos so, so much here on our channel, talking about all things Disney and Vera Bradley. There is no shortage of collections coming out with these two companies collaborating, and I am here for it. These are two of my favorite companies in the whole wide world, and I'm so excited to continually bring you the content of all of their new collaborations. So this one is actually a few weeks old now at the time that I'm filming this, but this is the Mickey Mouse Piccadilly Paisley collection that released at Vera Bradley a few weeks ago. And I was actually in Epcot the other day. We were filming the Food and Wine Festival Remy's Hide and Squeak Hunt, which was so much fun. I will link it up in a card if you missed that video. But while we were there perusing the creation shop, I discovered the little island that was Vera Bradley Piccadilly Paisley collection. And I stopped everything and filmed it for you guys. And of course picked up a piece for myself because I can't help myself. So that is what this video is about. So this video is a little bit of everything. We are going to do a mini uh, collection reveal. We are also going to be doing a haul little tiny one, and a bag review all in one. So I've never done a video like this where we're putting it all together, but I hope you enjoy it, and uh, I hope it's helpful for you. So the first part of this video is going to be, you guys are gonna come along with me to Epcot, to the Creation Shop, to look at all of the merchandise that Disney has available from this collection. And then the second part will be my uh, mini haul of this bag. I'm just gonna show you the ins and outs, and then I will be doing a review at the end of all of my thoughts. So, without further ado, let's head to Epcot.
tell in the footage you just saw, the collection was very limited um, in Epcot. They do not have every piece that was released. This is a very, very big collection. There's something like 40 pieces that came out in this pattern. And um, unfortunately, I actually missed the launch of this collection. We did not make it at all. We had some family things going on. And so it was a very busy time. So I was very thankful to Epcot for carrying any of the pieces so I could actually see them in person and give you guys a little look as well. So they had about 10 to 12 pieces in the creation shop in Epcot. I believe this uh, pattern has also been spotted on Main Street in Magic Kingdom. Um, where they usually have the shop that has Dooney and Burks and uh, Vera Bradley in there as well. Pandora is also in that shop as well. I believe that um, gift shop is called Uptown Jewelers on Main Street. So I've heard that it's there. I have not seen it there myself though. As I was looking at this collection and kind of perusing all of the pieces that were released, there was only one that stood out to me that I was like, I need this in my life. I need to try this. I need to experience it. And I need to tell you guys about it. And that is this little bag right here. This is the mini belt bag in Mickey's Piccadilly Paisley. Technically, this pattern is actually the um, sister pattern or the secondary pattern that came out in this collection. So this one is technically called Mickey Mouse Friends and Fun, um, which is a very long name. I don't really understand why that is the name because it doesn't really have anything to do with Piccadilly Paisley. I love the name Piccadilly Paisley, by the way, just a little fun fact. I think it sounds so like classic Vera Bradley, like from years and years ago. Piccadilly Paisley just has that feeling of like, Vera Bradley from like the 20, the like 2008 to 2012 era, which is when I first discovered Vera Bradley. So it's very nostalgic sounding to me. I love the name. Just my opinion, what would have been a super cute name for this pattern would be Mickey Mouse Piccadilly Pals. So you have Piccadilly Paisley and Piccadilly Pals. Just my opinion. I don't know. I don't name these patterns, but I do love the pattern nonetheless. So let me give you a close up of this pattern. So it is so precious. It has our leading characters featured front and center in this pattern. It has Mickey and Minnie Mouse in their classic form. So the polka dot skirt for Minnie and the red shorts for Mickey. And then mixed throughout, you actually have Pluto and Figaro, which are their pets. First time ever, uh, Pluto is actually being spotted in a pattern with Figaro. So exciting, so precious. And I love that the characters are the stars of the show. Like there's nothing else really going on. There's a very faint little white daisy pattern behind them, but the light gray background really gives them a space to shine. And I do love that. So going into this bag, this is the first time that Disney has come out with a mini belt bag with Vera Bradley and I think it is so great. So this is the bag. I'll give you a quick little detailed uh, description walkthrough of this bag. So here is the front. It does have a little fold over flap here in the front. And then as you unzip, you have a little pocket on the front. This is not a very big pocket. It only goes from here to here. So it's definitely more for like those quick access things, maybe a lipstick, maybe some Disney trading pins if you're in the parks, just something that's a little bit light. And then it does have a little hidden zipper here on the front. Moving into the main compartment of the bag, it does open up really nice and wide, which I love. Here you can see the Disney Vera Bradley uh, name tag there. And then this is the inside pattern. How precious is this? It is little Figaro playing with the uh, balls of yarn. And then you have some flowers kind of floating in there as well. So cute. And then on this side of the bag, you do have three card slots, which is great. I love when they build in the card slots in the inside of the bag. So you really can see um, how easy this is to organize all of your things. I do love that. And then on the back of this bag, there is one open slip pocket, no closure here. So it is really easy to get things in and out. And this is the pocket that's up against your body when you're wearing it. So it is kind of easy to get things in and out of there. Here is the strap on this one. It is quite a long strap. It's a soft gray material. And then this is what the closure looks like. So it does have a buckle here and you can open it up this way. So if you're wearing it around your waist, you can unbuckle and then rebuckle and oops, got it upside down. And that is the bag. 
So as you can see, it's a really cute, darling little style. I love it. It's not gonna hold a whole lot, but it is a really great like on the go, running around errands bag. And what I love about this one is you can wear it two different ways, really three different ways if you wanted. You can wear it around your waist as a traditional belt bag and you can adjust the strap accordingly or how I have been wearing it and really loving it is actually as a crossbody bag. So putting it on up and over, this is how the kids these days are wearing their bags, but wearing it as like a crossbody style, having it kind of hang here on the front. I think this is so cute. It's such a great style. It's really easy to get in and out of. You can wear it up higher. You can swing it down lower as like a true crossbody. You can kind of wear it under your arm or you can flip it all the way around and wear it as a crossbody on the back. So lots of options with this one, but this is how I've been sporting it most of the time because it's just so easy. So I'm gonna be honest with you, with this bag, the reason that I truly picked this up is one, I was so excited that Vera Bradley Disney had come out with another belt bag because I love this style. It's hands-free, it's easy, it's a great parks bag. So I wanted to give it a try. But the bag that I have been obsessing over and loving so much lately is actually this one. And this is the Everywhere Belt Bag by Lululemon. And this bag is amazing. Now I have literally been wearing this every single day, going everywhere, errands to the parks. If you've watched some of our more recent Disney parks, vlogs are Disney vlogs you might have noticed this bag making an appearance I have it in a few different colors um, and I have been loving it so if you guys are interested in me doing a review of this bag I can definitely do that show you all the colors that I have give you all the information I do believe that this is like one of the most popular bags of 2023 I see it everywhere every day especially in the parks um, so I'm, I'm sure you've heard of it before. It's the Everywhere Belt Bag, Lululemon. Yeah, it's, it's kind of everywhere. At first, I was completely resisting it because I'm like, no, it's too hypey. I'm not into it. Like, everybody's doing it, so I don't want to do it. And then I got one, and my life was changed. So, needless to say, when I saw this one from Vera Bradley, and it's almost the exact same footprint of this bag, I was like, I have to try it. It's so cute. So that's why I purchased this one, this one. So if you want me to do a review on this bag separately, let me know in the comments down below and I can definitely do that for you. I'm also liking to maybe branch out to some other brands, some other bag reviews. I really have fun doing these bag reviews for you guys and you guys seem to really like it as well. So let me know if there's any other bags or bag brands that you would like me to try to review. I am totally happy to do that for you guys and I'm having a lot of fun as well. So back to the mini belt bag from Vera Bradley and Disney. This one has been so great. The one thing that I love about this bag is it's made of the signature quilted cotton from Vera Bradley. So it's so, so lightweight. It weighs practically nothing before you put things into it, which makes it a great parks bag because it weighs nothing. So let me show you the print a little bit more up close. This is the uh, print option that I chose, the placement I should say. So I have Mickey and Minnie hugging right there on the front. Aren't they adorable? And then I have Minnie Mouse over here with her handbag looking fabulous as ever. I have a little bit of Figaro here on the front and then I have a little bit of Pluto as well. So flipping it to the back, I even love the um, pl placement on the back even more. Like, look how cute this is. You have Mickey and Pluto hugging each other there on the side. I love that they chose to put Mickey in pink shoes. Very unusual. Maybe it's Valentine's Day. I don't know, <laughs> but I do love it. And then I have Minnie Mouse here who is giggling, really cute. And then you have Mickey down there giving Minnie a rose. Really, really cute. I could not say enough cute things, great things about this pattern. So now I'm gonna do a quick little uh, what's in my bag video. Not really, but I just wanna show you guys how much fits in this little tiny bag. It's kind of amazing. Um, so I thought that I would show you what it looks like full and then what all I fit in here. So this is what the bag looks like all filled up. You can see it does have quite a bit of width to it, which is really nice. Everything is in there. So let's quickly unpack this and see what we've got. So as of right now, I have nothing in this front pocket. I honestly don't use it all that often. The two things that I have put in here are hand sanitizer wipes, um, like going to the parks or whatever. It's nice to have those little uh, individually pack wet ones. And I've also put trading pins for the parks in here as well. So those things do fit great in there. But for the purposes of today, I'll show you guys what all fits in this main compartment. So I have a change purse here. This has a few little things 
um, like hand sanitizer, I have headphones in here, um, band-aids, that kind of stuff. I have my wallet, which is also a um, go-to for me. This is um, a card case in Vera Bradley. Um, I believe this is Bon Bon Medallion is the name of this print. I love it. I put a wrist strap on it so I can just take it from bag to bag. It works great. And then I also have a pen in here. And I also have a lipstick. This is a lip liquid lipstick. I believe it's from the ColourPop. Yeah. The ColourPop collaboration with Disney. So that fits in here. That's everything I have in this main compartment. And then I do actually have my phone tucked here on the back wall pocket. So my phone does fit. I have the iPhone 12 mini. If you have anything bigger than a mini, it's not gonna fit in the back pocket of this bag. Like, let me show you how tight of a fit this is. It does fit, but it takes a little bit of finagling to get it in there. Um, and it's the mini size. So it fits just perfectly because it's tiny. And I did have to take off my um, pop socket, pop wallet, which I always keep on my phone. And I um, have been missing it a lot actually, cause I put a lot of my like important cards here. And because it doesn't fit, my phone doesn't fit in this bag with that on it. Um, it's had to go, which is really sad. And as you can see, I'm kind of like struggling to get this back in here. So if you have anything bigger than a mini size phone, it's probably not going to fit in here. However, it does fit very freely in the center compartment. And I have a lot of room to spare here on the side as well. So if you have a larger size phone or a max, it should fit in the center compartment. The other thing I'd like to mention is that I did not use any of these card slots here on the side. Um, so if you were to put your cards in here, you would also save some space not having my full size wallet in here. However, I like to use this because I move it from bag to bag. So I do carry this instead of using the card slots. But if you were trying to use this, let's say for a Disney vacation and you wanted to pack light, you could totally put your cards in here and then um, not bring a wallet as well. The other thing I will say about this is that for me, if I'm being honest, this bag is a little bit small for my everyday use. Um, for a park stay when I'm not vlogging and I don't have all the equipment with me, this is great. Or if Abby's coming along and she's carrying the equipment, I love this bag. I've used it multiple times. But for every day, like for my wallet and my phone and everything, it's just a little bit too small. So that's just my opinion. But if you're somebody who packs really light, doesn't carry a lot, or you want to use this as a parks bag specifically, I think this is a great option. So the other thing I can do, let me try to like finagle how I have this to show you other options of how to carry it. Okay. So I have the same exact items packed in here, just a little bit differently. So you can see kind of how it's laid out, but I have now put the lipstick in this front pocket and the pen down here at the bottom. And there is a little bit more room up here in this pocket for other things as well. I've now put the change purse in this back pocket to get to a little bit easier and not my phone. So that filled that pocket really well. And then in the inside, I still have my wallet and my phone. You can see the phone has a lot more room in here now. I could also push that to the side and put some other things in there. So I have more room now because I rearranged how I have it. Um, I was able to put the pop wallet back on my phone by putting it in the inside. And um, again, you can have so much more space in here if you don't carry the wallet, if you just uh, put your cards in here. But the one thing I will mention is I don't believe these cards slots here are RFID protected. I could be wrong about that, but usually in Vera Bradley's um, pieces, there's a little mark on the bottom. There's a little emblem that says RFID protection uh, if it is protected. And this one does not have that. So I'm guessing it's not protected, which means I would rather carry my wallet, which is protected just because you know, electronic pickpocketing is a real thing, especially in tourist like locations. So I, um, will not use those without some sort of like sleeve or protection for RFID in there. I do have some other pieces from Vera Bradley that are RFID protected and that's great. This one I just don't believe is. So there is something to note as well. So this would not be a full and complete review without some measurement details. So this bag is seven inches wide, four inches high, and one and a quarter inches deep. And the strap can adjust all the way up to 42 inches and 30 inches being the smallest. So I do really love that it is a nice long strap. 
As I showed before, you can totally wear this crossbody. You can wear it as a belt bag. There's lots of different options there. There is a little tiny loop on the inside here for your keys. So you can clip your keys to that right there on the inside. And that way you don't lose them. You can kind of just pull them out and use them with it still being attached. And I think that's really fun. You could totally use that as a pen loop as well. If you don't want to lose your pen, you could just loop it to the top here. I don't know if I'm showing that very well. You could totally loop your pin in here and lay it on the top and then it actually does zip fully with that pen being there, which I think is so fun. So that's probably how I will use it from now on is a little pen loop, but you could totally put your keys in there as well. Oh, I also forgot to say, um, I put my keys in this center or in this front pocket as well. Um, and it is really nice for that because it's secure, it has a zipper, so I'm not gonna accidentally lose them anywhere. Um, and again, it's a smaller size pocket, so it's perfect for keys if you don't have like a million keys. I know some people like have key rings that are like this big, so it might be a struggle to fit that in here. But yes, that is a great option for that front pocket as well. So that is it for this video. I do have a question for you guys though as well. So as I've been loving this mini um, belt bag and like using it and loving it. I have actually had thoughts of uh, and opinions on whether or not I like this belt bag better than my previous Vera Bradley belt bags. I actually have two other styles that I'm thinking of off the top of my head that I have used as staples and I have loved them so much in the past. Would you guys be interested in seeing a Disney Vera Bradley belt bag comparison video. I do have, um, like I said, two other styles. They're different shapes, different sizes. And I thought it would be really fun to compare those to this and see which one I prefer. Um, and just let you know kind of like how the belt bags with Vera Bradley and Disney have evolved throughout time. I thought that would be really fun as well. So let me know in a comment down below if you wanna see that and I can definitely do that video for you guys. But that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. A little bit of a different one. We had some parks time, some reviews, and just my general thoughts as well. So if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below so you don't miss any future Disney and Vera Bradley content. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.